I'm Sunita. I'm a rising junior at Mountain View High School, and my project is the robotic arm. Um, I chose this project because it seemed really interesting, and it seemed like a project that would both challenge me but not be too hard that it would be impossible to complete. And I've had a lot of fun with it so far. So essentially, my second milestone is coding the controller to be compatible with the robotic arm. So using the two joysticks, I'm able to move the turning base, the each joint of movement, and the clock. Um, so essentially how this works is in the code, there is a servo library, and the servo library contains multiple fun code functions that allow the controller to manipulate the movement and the rotation point of the servos. So depending on how I move the joysticks, it'll know how much to move the servo and which direction to move it in. Um, the, wi the wires that connect the servo to the Arduino will also help the code know which exact servo to move, depending on which joystick is pushed. Um, and then the battery pack is also there to help power the entire system, because this system requires a lot of voltage. So it ensures that the circuit has enough voltage pushing through so the robotic arm can move freely without having jittery or staticky movements. Um, there were a lot of challenges during this process in like different aspects. There were challenges in terms of like coding, mechanical, or um, power. And this process taught me how to uh, pinpoint exact problems in each area by either isolating different lines of code or like isolating the movement of each servo to figure out if a servo is broken or weak or figuring out uh, if it was simply like a problem with my battery, like the batteries are too weak or they just don't have any power left in them. So going over each individual problem and being able to isolate the exact challenge that you're facing is what I've been able to learn throughout this entire coding process. And eventually after much trial and error, I was able to get the whole system working and now it is able to move smoothly. Um, and my next steps are to now code a app that can also control the robotic arm.